AP is one of our sailors that we've profiled for Start Sailing Now, which is a special page in every issue of Spin Sheet where we interview sailors who took up the sport as adults. So they didn't grow up in a yacht club, they didn't have parents who took them sailing as kids, but they've connected with sailing in a big way as adults. And so we like to share their stories and hopefully inspire other new adult sailors. So welcome, AP. Thank you. I'm really happy to be here. So we talked a little before, and I know that you moved to Annapolis just about a couple years ago and didn't know very many people and weren't <laughs> involved in sailing at all. So tell us a little bit about why you moved here and how you got here and why you thought you might be interested in learning to sail. So I was reassigned here in December 2017. I work as a civilian for the Army, and Annapolis having toured the area before just seems like the right place to be. And I came here deciding that I wanted a better work-life balance than what I had previously had, but I didn't know anybody. And previously, I spent so much time working that I actually had forgotten how to make friends that were not associated with my work. And I really wanted to get away from that. And so I started thinking, well, how do people make friends? Um, and I recall thinking, who are really friendly people? Well, smokers are really friendly and sailors are really friendly and I didn't want to take up smoking. So sailing won out. And I'd known a little bit um, about the sailing community because I'd seen and observed races before. And I just thought, okay, these are friendly people that I, I, I would like to become attached to. So what did you do? How did you make that first step? Well, huge shout out to Spin Sheet Magazine's Crew Finder because that's how I started. So I logged on, created an account, and as the weather started warming up, I started getting responses through Crew Finder. And actually it was the J35 Maggie that first reached out to me and they were my first race uh, and from there I was hooked. So tell me what that's like when you don't have any sailing experience. And we often tell would be sailors that sailors love to share their sport with other people. But what's that like when you come on a boat and you don't know much about sailing? Tell me a little bit about that. It's surprisingly not as overwhelming as what I thought it would be because the community is so welcoming to people who want to learn how to sail. So when you get on a boat, they assign you to a job. Um, and that's actually really important. I've learned throughout my sailing career now, stick to what your job is. And if you need help, ask for it. Um, and everybody's willing to lend a helping hand. So that's essentially what happened. People would jump in when I asked for help and show me how to do everything every step of the way. So it was, essentially new to sailing every time I got on a new boat. And it was that same process. How does this boat work? What can I do to learn it better? What can I do to be helpful on board and help us cruise or um, predominantly what I do is race. So how can I help us uh, get the gun on crossing that, that finish line first? I'm a kinetic learner, I guess is the best way of putting it. I learn by doing and people are patient and they're kind and they're just, as long as you have a good attitude, everybody in this community has been beyond welcoming. How did you make that, the connections after you sailed on Maggie? What's that kind of networking like where you, you know, you met some sailors on one boat and then you got an invitation on another boat. Can you talk about that a little bit? That's what's so great about Annapolis and everybody being so friendly. Um, I am much better at parties than I am at racing. So I, that's how my networking went. I would go to these regatta parties and just had so much fun there. And you're hearing about other people's stories, what went wrong that day for them, what went right that day for them. Um, and you talk about, well, this is my skill set. This is what I can do, but this is what I'd like to learn. And that's actually how I've been invited on more boats by saying, I, this is what I do, but this is the skill set now that I would like to become better at. Yeah, that's great. And it's wonderful to hear that you've had such positive ex experiences on, mm -hmm. on every boat. And 
you know, boats kind of have their own personalities, and we yeah, always like to say, we always like to say, if you get on a boat where you're not uncom where you're not comfortable for whatever reason, like you're not clicking with the people on that boat, don't stop sailing. Just try a different boat. That's that's unbelievably accurate, um, and I guess it's not unbelievable. That's completely accurate. Um, it is important when you're first getting started to make sure when you go out you do find a crew that you click with some some boats are okay we're here because we want to rent win this race mm -hmm. and if that's true then and that's what your personality is like then that's then that's the boat for you and then there are other boats that are hey we like to race we like to cruise um we're more laid back uh we just enjoy sailing as a sport we have a great sense of humor on the boat and that that kind of thing then that might be the boat for you as well it's it is about learning the personality of the other crew members on board do you have any advice like what's a good thing to do what's not a good thing to do i know that you mentioned asking questions so one of the things that i've learned recently is know when to ask questions um mm -hmm. so if you're that's important too yeah. don't ask a question in the, in the middle of a maneuver. Um, I think one of the other things that's really important is leave your ego on the dock. And above all else that has helped me be successful, if you bring great beer and good snacks with you, <laughs> then you will get through anything. And nobody can get mad at you if you are bringing good snacks. I'm actually, I'm really excited about future plans. So like I said, I've predominantly sailed with U.S. Patriot Sailing, which is a nonprofit organization that supports veterans. We had been planning this summer to go to Ireland to race in the Beaufort Cup. They, I actually just learned that it's uh, being canceled because of the current environment. However, U.S. Patriot Sailing also has an all-female team, and so I've uh, signed up with some of my other teammates to race in Harrington Harbor's all-women's regatta. We're looking at doing some offshore races coming up in, in the fall, and it, again, it's just, if you knew me before I moved here, it's just, it's, it's mind-blowing to me how this went from not knowing anybody to racing on Wednesday nights to now thinking about doing and planning on doing offshore races internationally and having the best friends I've ever known. Don't miss another Spin Sheet video. Subscribe to our channel today.